Hey everybody, Terry White here, and I got some exciting news for people that work in Lightroom and work with HDR. What is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and it's a typical tonal range where you get the, the detail in the shadows all the way through the highlights by usually combining multiple exposures together, merging to HDR, that's where it comes from. So the problem is up until now, you've been able to create HDR in Lightroom, you've been able to kind of look at them and edit them, but you've been looking at them and editing them in SDR, standard dynamic range. That all changes today. Let's take a look. So I've got an image that I merged together as an HDR. This is one of my Iceland images back, back in, you know, a couple of trips ago. And I now have an HDR button because right now we're looking at this in standard dynamic range. SDR. So the, the sky looks kind of washed out, the mountains look washed out, but the detail is really there. That's, that's why I merged an HDR to begin with. But if I click on the new HDR button, this will let me edit and display in high dynamic range to see the increased depth and realism with brighter highlights, deeper shadows, and improved tonal separation. And not only can I edit in HDR, I can output the image in HDR as well. So we're looking at this on an SDR screen, or, well, I'm looking at it on my HDR screen. You're looking at it maybe on an SDR screen because the video is SDR. But I've done the next best thing. I've recorded my screen so that you can see the dramatic difference. So let me turn it back off, look at the screen now, and let me turn it on, and look at the difference in the mountain range. Now you'll also notice, and this is big, the histogram. When it's off, we see the standard dynamic range histogram, and it's showing a lot of detail in those highlights, but we really can't see it, and it looks like the highlights are just blown out. But when we turn on HDR, we actually get four more stops of brightness past what we would typically see, which is the brightest spot in the display. So I see all this detail in the HDR range that's there. All the red, green, and blue is there, all that detail in the image. And I can even see it visually because I'm looking at this on my MacBook Pro, which has an HDR display. Now, if I wanted to really visualize where that data is, there's a visualize HDR button that shows me where the data is in the photo. So I see the same blues, purples, light blues, so forth and so on in this HDR range to show me that data. Even down here in the water, I can see it a little bit. So when I turn the visualiz visualization off, it goes away, I can turn it back on anytime I wanna see where that data is. And more importantly, in my tone curve, I can now make adjustments to that HDR because it also has an HDR section over to the right of the tone curve to be able to really edit in HDR and see the results on my HDR display. Now this is great. I was able to capture and merge in HDR. I was able to edit in HDR, but what? A, how do I get this out? How do I get to, this to show people that have an HDR display as well? Well, now when you export out, if I go to my custom settings, I have the ability to export out as a JPEG and as quiet as it's kept, that also has HDR information, but I have two new formats, JPEG XL and AVIF, which contain HDR info. So if I switch to any one of those as an output method, I will have the ability to get HDR output in either one of those methods. So you can enjoy and have some fun, not only importing HDR, editing HDR, but exporting HDR, high dynamic range for a full workflow in Lightroom starting today. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.